facing. Yeah, cool. I am doing a quick pop up live. We are in Loveland, Colorado. Barb set up yesterday, Friday night at um, it's a Rocky Mountain Antique Show, Antique Festival. Antique Festival. And here is the booth we got set up. One, two, three, four, five, six, six foot tables, yes. six, eight foot tables, something like that. All right, everybody. Six foot tables. They're getting ready close. to close down. We have got but until, um, I wanted to make sure that I could come. I hate to talk over the announcement, but I'm trying to. To give you a quick overview of the booth. <laughs> Making sure everybody knows it's time to pack up. So, we have a bunch of mid mod up here with some Fenton. Hello, how are you? Hopefully, her announcement will be short. And when we start packing up tonight, we will separate it out. Hi, guys, how are y'all doing? I'm showing our booth here at the Rocky Mountain Antique Show, Antique Festival. If there's something you're interested in any more information on, throw it in the chat. We have a fun black light section. Look at these fun little nut cups. And they glow like crazy. Hi, Peggy. How are you? Yay, the announcement's over. So, again, mid-mod over here. Fenton, Blinko, Viking, Empoli, and others. Westmoreland is over there. Yes. Ellie Smith. Um, what was this? The name on this one here? Morgantown. Morgantown. All sorts of glass there, and a little bit of the all the glowy stuff. Hi. Speaking of glowy, hi Carol, glowy girl. Have. This is a Fenton piece, but who was who made this? I'm sorry. Which one are we looking at? The, the lamp. Lamp. That's Fenton made for LG Wright. Fenton for LG Wright. Called Moss Rose. It's and there's a one. decanter or the yeah. cruet. I'm telling you, my I am brain dead because I drove what almost three hours to get up here today. You know the, So I could do a couple lives and then <laughs> and then I get to help pack up. Right. Aren't I awesome? You can come, come in. Hi Chris. What glows like crazy? All we have the pitcher set. Who made the pitcher set again? Northwood. Northwood. We have the hen on a hen on nest. The swan on nest. We have anchor hawking princess cereal bowls. We have these cute little nut cups. That's a cute decadon. And some plates and plat and a platter at the bottom. And then these are some stretch, stretch plates. plates as well. Oh, and then the basket in the yellow. That's Tiffin. Tiffin. And I have a green one at home that yep. glows just like that. And there's a bowl back in the corner, too, that's kind of hiding out. That one glows. Hey, do those yellow plates down there glow? Yep. Oh, man. So, hey, Geneva, how are you doing? No, you didn't miss much. I've only gone just kind of slowly going past the tables. There's something you want more information about. Just give us a quick holler. We got some new Fenton that we threw out for this show, and it will be being packed up, excuse me, for our convention in West Virginia. The National Fenton Glass Society Convention. Yes, NFGS. So, yeah, <laughs> Carol says, ooh, on the glow. Uh -huh. her, new, her new screen name is Glowy Girl. <laughs> this is a new piece that is the plum opalescent oh. in the syrup. Oh, she just found one that glows, a Chinese yellow. Mm -hmm. I'd forgotten that this color By Fenton. Six-petal lotus bowl. This is a really cool. It was a, I think this is Viking with a thousand Viking, eye. We're not positive. There's a beautiful color blue beautiful cake plate. Um, what else we got down here? So we have the new oh, yeah. Plated Amberina basket and matching top hat. Those are from Fenton's 1984 Connoisseur Collection, which well, basically means Fenton's best of the best. And this one is really pretty, too. Was this a new one? Or have I just haven't seen it yet? You know what? That came out of my personal collection because people had been asking for painted for me. That also oh my glows, too. Um, that little song sparrow. Yep. Glowy girl, which piece are we talking? The yellow? I need description words, if you don't mind. Hi, Sherry. How are you doing? Thank you so much. We need big descriptive words. Yeah, we need, like, color and shape, and I can get you prices. It's been the... Uh, so days. you're asking about the yellow bowl it's 125 124.99 yeah the lotus bowl 124.99 mm -hmm. 
Those are very much fun. A couple of fun head vases. I love their hairdos yeah, on those. Do. Yeah. And if you're interested in something, you just give me a, a sold. He is cute. Who made him? I'm not him. It's a little zebra. Little yeah. kid dressed up. Yeah. Or even it's got like Elfie shoes too. Uh, Mark Japan. Adorable. Hi, Car. How are you doing? And what else? We got some, I would say kitchen stuff down here, the but kitchen, you know, some Pyrex cookie jars. Um, who made these big mixing bowls? So we've got several here. This is a mixing bowl and bowl. These are Universal Cambridge. They've got a really pretty little decal on there. And then it's got a little bit of crazing. You can see that these are these are old. Yep. It's probably nineteen thirties ish. It has matching pie plates. How much was the zebra kid? Zebra kid is four five. Four five, Carol. And then this is Harper. This is Harper Pottery. They're mallow pattern. So we have the smaller mixing bowls, about what, eight, nine inch? Nine. Nine. And two different sizes. Pie plates. Pie plates, pie plates whatever I'm trying to say. Yep. A little bit of Pyrex over here. Oh, and tell us about the haul. Those are hard to find pieces that people don't usually see. I'll switch with you. Don't walk on the car uh, on that table. So this, this is in Hall's Sundial Kitchenware. So this is the syrup jug, which is super hard to find with the Pull lid. Pull it out a little bit this way because the red's right behind it. So they're bowl. It was camouflage. It? Thank you. And then this is the matching batter bowl in that. And this is very, very hard to find. They are pretty. Mm -hmm. Thanks for them. hanging out, guys, and Lots looking coloring books. Yeah. Let's see. More Pyrex, some more haul. Lots of whole teapot. I'm trying not to blind you all with the lights. Sorry. And oh, the you found some neat coloring books recently. Those mm -hmm. are cute too. Now, is the blue? Is that um, modern tone? It is modern tone by Hazel Atlas. I have a few of these at home somewhere. The Sherberts. Yep. Hi, Jody. Uh, what? Oh, yes. Jody says, ooh, oh, <laughs> I have 30% left in my phone, but I think we can get through this. The story time book. How much for that? This one here. Do you want to show a few pages of sure. it quick and we'll give you a price for it? This is 19 dollars It does have a little bit of coloring in it. It must have been a girl because it's colored nicely. Oh, it is colored all the way. I think most of colored. And the price for this one was $19.99? Okay. And then, oh, there's a few pages left. A couple of new stories. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. And then, um, excuse me, Jody would like to know the plum piece, the price on the... On the plum sort picture? Yes, I'm assuming that's the one. And then we'll go back. 125 on the plum. And that has nice color on it. Plum opalescent hobnail syrup picture. Look at me with all the words. Look at you. And we'll go back over here. There's a, I'll go to the other side for those so you can see the graphics on them. These are kind of fun. Yep, awesome. hobnail, Jody. These are really birds. pretty. And then assortment of flower plates. Mm -hmm. And we this, have that in fruit as well. But yes. I not end up having enough room to put it all on. This section is the dresser set and perfume. Yeah, look at the rhinestones on so this, this one. This is a celluloid dresser set. Oh, and somebody broke the comb this year. Oh, man. Yay, people. Um, but this is, you know, early 1900s style. It has the clock. It's got the uh, perfume with the atomizer. Photo out, photo frames. Photo frames. Everything. Hair receiver. Nail buffer. And, And a few, she's got a few linens and quilts here. And then we have a few more quilts down there in the suitcase and tablecloths down there. Um, perfumes. I know you guys, some of you guys like perfumes. Um, let's see. There's a blue cat something on the top shelf. Blue cat? Is it the cookie jar? Right there. You see where I'm looking? Yeah. Blue cat something. There's like a cat inside a basket. Can you pull it over here? It's really hard to see you from that far away. That's the top of the cookie jar. And the bottom is like a bas the basket. Yep, with a painted blue bow. 
Other than that, I'm not thinking there was a cat thing. Yeah, the perfumes are pretty. Barb will go back and look and see if there's any other cat things down there. We have some of the Wavecrest um, dresser bowl or dresser containers. I don't know. My brain's tired. Sorry, guys. Some polar bears in the case. Um, okay, one second. Hi, Trisha. How much is the, the cookie jar? $75 for the cookie jar, Carol, if that's what you're asking about. I will, Chris. And then we're going to show this quick. This is a cat within a little girl's lap. And is it a planter or what? Oh, isn't she cute? And how much is she? 15. She is. 1.5. Samsung So if you're interested in something, I need you to put want with a description so I can figure it out from there. Yes, uh, the pink perfume is one of the big stoppers. It's a big heavy duty one, and it is from Bob St. Clair. There's a mark on the bottom. This is probably almost two pounds of glass. Yeah. It is $75. It's a paperweight style. Yeah, the paperweight style perfume. Tell us about the yellow glass quick, if you would, please. So this the yellow glass outside here, this is Fenton's yellow overlay. Yep, St. Clair. This is one they did in the early 1950s. And that's as I recall. The beaded, beaded melon. melon. Yep. And then, and then our wowzer these, piece for this yes. weekend. These are goldenrod overlay candles. Goldenrod was very short lived color and production. It's a little bit more golden than the yellow overlay. And we're kind of, it's in a case, Super but rare. we'll try and like see the difference between the color. So a yellow bit overlay darker. is a very lemony yellow. And the golden one is more of a honey yellow, more of a smidge darker. It's beautiful. And then we got a few critters in there. We got some root red slag. We got some crystal, and we have a painted panda bear. Um, got our, the wave crust boxes in there. Yep, I talked about those. Okay. Um, the lidded blue is this check? That's check. So it kind of looks like a blue slag glass. Mm -hmm. So or it's a, sensitive. For yeah, sure. sun like a sunflower design. Trinket box. Forty-two dollars. And it's got the flowers all the way around it. And then the other one that's check also it kind of looks like that malachite. Yep, that's what they call the malachite glass. Beautiful. Any fairy lamps? Not here. We had a lot of mid mod go this weekend. I did buy one when I stopped for the bathroom on the way up here because <laughs> you know you got to stop for restrooms at the antique malls. So how much was the blue? $42, Jody. And here's the fun graphics on this kitchen set. Canister set. It's really cool. Those are like nesting canisters and then the bread box. That whole set is $75. Oh, yes, Jody. If there's something you want, you just holler it out. Yep. We'll get That's you an invoice. Oh, the bread box is 75 oh, Sorry. I want to say the canisters are 49 You let me, yes. If you're, there's something you want, you say want and a description of it especially if we've already given you a price for it because right now the show is over and you can see like there's somebody already almost packed up over there so their booth is almost empty the there set. 125 for the whole set and um that's what we need to get to go and do next so all right let me know if you want that blue one jody it's 42 let's see the green one do we have a price on the green? 50. Okay. I think I just lost the video. Oh, I'm sorry, Jody. If there's anything you're interested in, put it in the comments. I'll find it back. It'll notify me that you put something in the comments. So I'm going to just end it there. And we're going to say, oh, you want to see the green one again? Yep, certainly can. So there's a pattern. It's like a floral. There's the inside. These typically have a few little flea bites around the edges just because they were used on and off as powder jars, $50. It's beautiful coloring. It's about a pound of glass, that green one. All right. Jody says she wants the blue check one. Okay. Yep. It's going to be just like normal, Jody. It'll be um, invoiced through PayPal. So I can do that. If you want to rewind, watch the beginning, just throw it in the comments. 
um, depending on what it is, the sooner you comment, the better I can get to it because we are going to be packing up here like next. And then lots of all the Fenton is going to be going to West Virginia to NFGS. I'm going to try and turn this back around again quick. And, um, and then we're going to be, um, hi, it's me again. So, and then we're, <laughs> and then we'll be taking some to, we have a, a mid mod show coming up, a show in October here again in um, Longmont or well, Loveland. First we have Loveland, the first and second. Mm -hmm. And then we'll have Longmont about the 10th of October, somewhere in the 10th or 15th. Mm -hmm. And then we have our show. And then our Loveland. show in Alabama. Yeah. yeah. And the Fitton one is next in yeah. three weeks. In West Virginia. Two weeks. Oh, geez. Two, Two weeks. weeks. So, all right. What, what about the light blue behind those? Oh, the. I can turn it around one more time. I just forget where to find it. So it takes me a second. There we go. Okay, the light blue perfumes. Okay, there's this one. There's two. Well, they're different. They're slightly different. There's. That's the lid. That's a jar. It's got a little bit of a crack on that lip, but it's all still together. There's these other two perfumes. And then there's the powder jar. And that one's Fenton. And the melon base with a clear lid. So. Okay. I think you want the blue. Jody. Yes, Jody, I have you down for that blue sunflower piece. I'll make sure I have it. The powder jar, Geneva, this one is seventy-five dollars. It's Fenton. Is this an overlay? Yes, that's the blue overlay from the nineteen forties. White, blue, clear. Okay. Okay. Would you? Okay, Geneva, if you want that one, I need you to say "want powder jar," and it's seventy-five. And I'm going to, just so that we're all clear, Jody, I pulled this one for you for $42. And then I'm going to give it one more buzz around while I'm waiting for those answers. We must have a little bit of a delay, which is no worries, but yep, got it, Jody. Pass. No worries. Okay, I think we got all of our questions answered, so all right. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Sorry. See you soon.